Now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, legal, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, where our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten. But most importantly, we want to engage you in an effort to help you win in any marketplace. And we don't care if you're climbing that corporate ladder or if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work. This show's for you. We're going to help you win. And uh, we don't care if you're climbing that corporate ladder or if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work. Uh, this show's for you. Consumer Quarterback Show. Now, over 80 show partners here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we've assembled all of the best expert contributors, the finest folks in all of Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region of Florida to help you understand your buying decisions, make you just a bit more street smart out there uh, in, in this this era of the fake news <laughs> then you you hear the negativity the constant negative news out there and that we're going against the grain of that and we're helping you understand more about your buying decisions and and helping keep you updated with current events and things happening in the marketplace so i'm your host brandon rhymes i'm a former usf football player uh played on the inaugural football team usf and now we're quarterbacking transactions uh for our sellers out there if you're selling real estate we'd love to talk to you platinum mvp realty and also as the host of the show um i'm the quarterback on the team here quarterbacking inter introductions to all of our expert contributors and uh, the folks that we bring in to help you understand more about your buying decisions, things happening in the marketplace. Let's go around the horn now. Make our introductions. Joe Kearns, managing partner, Kearns Law Firm. Welcome back in, sir. Thank you, Brandon. I'm back. Joe Kearns, um, Kearns Law, PA. I'm a friend with my wife, and I'm glad to be back. Awesome, man. Good stuff. Thanks for coming in. John Gaston, also in the house. He's the owner of We Beam TV, putting together this awesome production uh, that you see every week. Thanks, John. Thanks How you doing, Brendan? Doing good, brother. Doing good. What's happening in your world? Oh, we're just shooting video and making people famous. That's right. I love it, man. I love it. A lot of so we're gonna dive deeper into how that works, how this process works, and how uh, we can help you as a business owner as well. Anthony Puglisi, our show producer, is gonna be coming on as well. Talk a little bit about uh, some of the events we have coming up, some of our live events, and and how we can make this platform work for you as a business owner. Maybe you're a manager out there wanting to grow your business. Uh, we've got some really cool stuff that we're gonna talk about here from a marketing perspective. And you look at uh, the way that we've set the show up. Now, we want to make sure you save our hotline number in your phone. It's 813-670-7372. And, and we're going to help you win if you call that number. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Now, 813-670-7372. That's our consumer advocate hotline number. Save that number in your phone. At some point, you're going to need it. You can give us a call or a text message to uh, 813-670-REQB is the acronym there as well. And also bookmark our website, consumerqb.com. That's our website, blog site, a plethora of information available for you there. Uh, you can see links to all of our 80-plus show partners, and we're going to talk about ways that we can help you win. We always start our show off with a little personal development. Omaha! So we're going to call that audible in life. Omaha! And we've been doing a series on the seven habits of highly effective people uh, by Stephen Covey. And uh, the habit number seven, I believe, is where we left off. It's number seven is sharpening the saw. Sharpen the saw. So renewing your physical, spiritual, mental, emotional attributes makes possible personal fulfillment and growth. So when I think about that, I think about that every day you want to be investing time into growing your mental database. You know, how much... How much knowledge do you have, whether it's in your profession or even sometimes cross-promoting or cross uh, other areas of topics and finding out, you know, how can I get smarter? How can I get stronger every day? And what you want to do is make sure you're reading or listening to podcasts, listening, reading books uh, or even audible books and making sure that you're dumping good things into your mind. Because today uh, we have so many messages, commercial messages from marketers uh, telling us we need to lose weight. Uh, we're not this or that. And the, the marketing messages are hitting us from all angles now, from social medias, you got websites, you got so many different ways that we're getting hit with those marketing messages. So uh, what I'd like to talk about is controlling the bookends of your day. So when you start your morning off, 
If you start the morning off with filling your mind with knowledge, reading a book that's in your field, listening to a podcast, uh, and then also in the end of the night, at the end of the day. The, so the bookends of the day, at the end of the day, you're going to be able to program your mind as well by listening to positive things, uh, maybe affirmations, writing down what you're grateful for, and sharpening the saw, as Stephen Covey says, that's habit number seven of, of renewing your spiritual, uh, your mental, uh, emotional attributes. That's going to be a, a, a lot about what I think about is the uh, meditation. And I got to give a shout out to the folks over at uh, Cryotherapy uh, here in South Tampa. We had a uh, chill therapy, a uh, relaxation and recovery spa. So chill therapy, it, it makes me think about that. I went in on Saturday. And if you haven't seen this, it's really cool. Have you ever seen these, Joe, this, this chill therapy, the cryotherapy stuff? You explained it to me once and um, I'm skeptical. <laughs> you are okay <laughs> well yeah let's see what happens right it says uh reduces inflammation athletic recovery sleep better endorphin rush improved circulation decreased muscle soreness uh relief from chronic pain so i went in there and i did the flotation therapy yeah it's on the back of this card so i'm going to hold it up to the well, i can TV. do that so i you can see, do flotation now that was pretty cool man <laughs> so look at that thing it's like a cocoon right yeah and the water in the cocoon is filled with like 20 bags of salt. So it's almost like a gel almost. I mean, it's water, but it's just so, and you're so buoyant when you're in there. So I was in there for an hour on Saturday morning and I put on a guided meditation on my iPhone and you put ear earplugs in and you're underwater and you can still hear you know the words. So that's what I think Stephen Covey's talking about when he talks about sharpening the saw, renew your physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional attributes. So that's why it's important also, as hard as we go these days, we're, we're 24 seven, you know, 8, 8.30 at night, we're still texting and dealing with clients or whatever it might be, a lot of cases. And so I think it's now important more than ever to call that audible and to, to be able to you know, utilize what Stephen Covey talks about is the uh, the seventh habit was sharpening the saw. So there's your no huddle offense, Omaha! your two minute drill from the quarterback team, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in this great content. Uh, Joe Kearns, attorney, family law attorney here in the house. So uh, what are you seeing out there, buddy? I'm going to throw this out to the table. Yeah. Is, can anyone tell me what the definition of full custody is? Full custody. <clears throat> yes. John, you want to take a stab at that? Full custody. I so, guess it's when they live with you all the time. I can't tell you what it means. I hear it all the time. Everyone's always asking mm. because why when full custody? It, it doesn't exist as a term really within the family law realm, yeah. but it's constantly used because a lot of, I mean, almost all of my clients that come in as lay people, I mean, if right. they're extremely experienced in family law, that's a whole new other problem. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want the experience. They've been down there once or twice, <laughs> yeah. right? But the word full custody, what I, what I think that they mean by that is that they want the child to live with them or even the child has been living with them the whole time. But the problem is it's when it's produced to the judges, what are they asking for? And if they don't have an attorney's help, they use that word. And it looks, and, it, and the connotation can be, I want to take the child away from the other parent. Right. Which isn't their intent almost 90% of the time. They're, right. they're already exercising some form of schedule, but they use that term. So yeah. it can be something that can actually, if you use it and maybe you don't get to explain your context or the fact that you don't really necessarily know exactly what you're asking for right being conscious of the terms that you're supposed to use can actually help you yeah isn't it more of a custodial isn't that one of the terms they actually eliminated the word custody almost entirely from the statute yeah um what they use now is just time sharing or parenting plan okay so it's more of a we're creating a schedule we're creating a division of how the the decisions are made right like there's two concepts there's shared parental there's parental responsibility and then there's this actual schedule that the child's gonna go back and forth between the parents. Shared parental responsibility, most of the time, is going to be shared. So if you wanna pick your daughter's school, your wife or your ex-wife is gonna have equal say in that. Um, with the time sharing, now, <laughs> it depends on which county you're in, because the counties are actually different in how they look at things. Right. So sometimes it can be a 50-50 schedule. Sometimes it's going to be a more of a, one parent has more of the time. Like if you're working 80 hours a week, um, the 50-50 schedule is not for you. It's going to be very difficult. So I try to caution my clients, okay, one, let's figure out the nomenclature on everything. And then two, let's figure out what's pragmatic and in the best interest of the child, because it's still supposed to be what's in the best interest of the child, 
not necessarily what's in the best interest of the individual parent. Right. Yeah, that's the most important part of this process, Joe. Uh, by the way, if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes, talking with Joe Kearns, family law attorney here um, in Tampa Bay. And the, the children are the ones that are kind of put through the ringer. They're, they're overhearing conversations on the cell phones. They're uh, maybe even looking at text messages if they're a certain age. And, and the children are the ones that a lot of times in a divorce situation are kind of getting the raw end of the, of the deal. Well, in many cases, they have very little voice. Now, if you have very little kids, I mean, they're going to adjust to probably whatever the situation is. So that's really up to the judge, the attorneys, and the parents to figure out okay, this is what's going to be normal down the road. Right. Um, when you have older kids, they will, um, that tail will wag that dog. Um, they will go to the highest bidder in, in certain circumstances because they know that I, I the situation I, I, I like the least is when you have parents that have been disciplining their kids appropriately, then the divorce or this custody fight comes along and all of a sudden they're like, I can't do anything like that for fear that I'm going to somehow dissuade the child and that kid's going to want to go somewhere else. Right. Right. Well, now you're taking a, um, a good parent and you're basically saying, okay, listen, you're going to be on display and you're going to be marketing yourself to this kid as if the kid has to make all the decisions. Cause everyone asks me, well, well, wait a second. When their kid's 13, he can make the call. Can he decide not to do his homework at 13? No, you're still the parent. Now, as the children mature, do they have some semblance of a say? Yes. Right. And there's even the concept of what uh, a guardian ad litem or attorney ad litem, where the attorney actually talks to the children so that they do have some semblance of a voice, but it's filtered. It's not, I want to go to dad because, well, dad has the best electronics in the house, so that's where I want to be. Right. Yeah. Let's talk more about that because I, I like what you brought up there. It's, uh, you know, it creates a, such a different dynamic because the one parent might be the disciplinarian, but then they might not win the favoritism battle. So mm -hmm. let's talk about that when we come back with Joe Kearns here, uh, managing partner at Kearns Law Firm, family law attorney here, divorce attorney uh, in Tampa, Tampa Bay. Also, John Gaston coming up. He's in the house as well. We Beam TV and Anthony Puglisi, the executive show producer of the Consumer Quarterback Show, is going to be on air as well. And interesting story in our feel good story of the week. Little girl honored for using her birthday to help the hungry. This and more from our expert contributors coming up. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813 670 7372 online at ConsumerQB.com.
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, quarterback show, platinum MVP realty, and a top listing agent in Tampa Bay. Featured in Florida Realtor Magazine, Top Agent Magazine, the Tampa Bay Business Journal, and others recognized for innovations with marketing, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. Uh, the late uh, Peter Drucker says that, you know, what else do you have in business if you're not marketing and innovating? That's the key when it comes to selling your real estate. It's the key to getting exposure for your business. So when you want to look at these options, we'd love to talk to you at 813-670-7372. That's our Consumer Advocate Hotline. Here's my number. So call me, baby. 813-670-7372. Uh, and ConsumerQB.com. That's our website. We'd love for you to submit the form there at ConsumerQB.com. The uh, contact form will come directly to me as an email, and we'll make sure we get back to you before our head hits the pillow. Giving a shout out as well to Signature Massage and Facial Spa in Tampa Bay, 11248 West Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa, located next to the LA Fitness Signature Massage and Facial Spa. Uh, they have early bird rates, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Thursday. You get a Swedish massage, one hour Swedish massage for $39.95. And they also have all types of facial services and other services as well, uh, from reflexology, cupping, aromatherapy, chemical peel, back treatments, foot scrubs, foot treatments, all types of cool stuff over here. Now, if you mention the quarterback show, uh, you're going to get 10% off of your first uh, service with Signature Massage and Facial Spa in beautiful Tampa Bay. All right, we're back here in studio helping you win in any marketplace. want to let you know about a couple of hot listings that we got here. Uh, we got a price reduction on 10616 Cape Hatteras Drive in Tampa. Just reduced this one down to $388,000. Now, this is a gated community in a gated community, Palm Bay, Phase 2, uh, four bedrooms, two and one half bath, almost 3,000 square feet. And it's a Mediterranean-style home with a pool and a spa on a conservation lot. A great buying opportunity at $388,000. As well as beautiful Tarpon Springs property here in Pinellas County, 380 Bridal Pathway Tarpon Springs. Keystone is the uh, subdivision, and it's four bedrooms, two bath $299,000 and a great opportunity for almost uh, over 1,800 square feet another beautiful pool home uh, with a fenced in backyard here compliments of platinum MVP realty and the consumer quarterback show and uh, we're back here in studio helping you win it's intelligent talk radio I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me attorney Joe Kearns he's a managing partner at Kearns law firm a divorce attorney family law attorney also John Gaston is in the house as well owner of we beam TV and a longtime uh, partner on the quarterback show here as well and we're gonna have uh, coming up in the show as well we're gonna have Anthony Puglisi our executive show producer gonna come on show and uh, talk a little bit about some of the live events that we have coming up but Joe, I wanted to go back to you. Talk about this. You know, you talk about divorce. Uh, it, you know, it's it's over fifty percent now. I believe most studies show that it's over fifty percent of families uh, in uh, United States. And 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 this one is is something that I think is a question that we should let our listeners know about. So, you know, a question came in on one of our social media sites. We'd love to hear from you at Twitter at Brandon Rhymes One, uh, Facebook dot com is. Uh, you can also find us there. Quarterback Show Brandon Rhymes. PA. So how old must the child be before they have to stay in the, before they have a say uh, in the time sharing schedule? The statute itself is designed, and if you want to lull yourself to sleep, you can read it. It's Florida Statute 6113. <laughs> yeah. It's actually quite long. There's actually, like, I think it's 22 factors. It's A through T that the court is supposed to consider and go through in determining what's going to be in the best interest of the child. So in the middle of all of those is the preference of the child. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the question then becomes, okay, when are we going to balance the preference of the child? If you have a child that really is like, I, I'll say, and this is my opinion, this really isn't necessarily, uh, and there's different schools of thought on it, really eight years old and, and, and smaller, they're going to have less of a say. Now, any child really over the age of five can tell you what's going on in the house, give you kind of their opinion, but are they mature enough to say, this is what I want, this is what's good for me? Right. That's when you might have a situation where a kid might, well, it's more fun over there. Dad doesn't necessarily make me do my homework, and mom make, allows me, and mom cooks better. So yeah. it, it could be that kind of situation. 
truthfully, they don't have the ultimate say until they're 18 when they're adults and they can just say, I'm leaving. Um, I usually, my, my school of thought on this is around the age of 13. They're teenagers. They're starting to kind of build a rapport for, you know, what they're going to do down the road. Maybe they're very involved in a certain extracurricular uh, activity, a sport. Um, they're gearing themselves towards college. That's when I think their say has is, is taking greater weight. The question is, how do I get that preference in front of a judge? Mm -hmm. There's guardians. There's therapists that can testify under very kind of small type situations, because the, the children do have this. You know, they have confidentiality in what they're saying, even to their own therapist. And then there is these these other individuals that are called um, basically parenting plan evaluators. Typically, they're psychologists. They're going to make a recommendation to the court. They meet with the kids. They meet with the parents. There's usually psychological testing. Um, it's a horribly expensive process. Um, I, I mostly operate out of Pinellas, but I do a good deal over in Hillsboro. And the use of a guardian ad litem, which can be um, usually an attorney that, that practices in family law, can, can talk to the kids. And I love doing that because, you know, talking to adults all day can be rather draining. <laughs> yeah. So if you talk to the kids, you usually get a completely different story because you have two parents that are, you know, sometimes at war with each other right they're thinking of a million different things and it may not be exactly what's in the best interest of the kids because maybe they have that winning philosophy in there which in family law doesn't exist yeah there's no such thing as winning in, in that you know it, either way it's you, you want to look at hey you know where's a nice fair middle ground try to be as fair as possible try to be as reasonable as pro possible and it, it's a give and take game right i had a case where i was a guardian the oldest kid you really couldn't take too much of what he was saying um, as, as a complete, this is what's going on, because you had that semblance that maybe there was someone was being bought. Um, the youngest child, she really didn't have a preference really one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And the middle child is more of the bellwether. He was telling you, these are what's going on. He, he, kinda, he tended to shoot you straight. There was negative and positive for both, for both sides. Right. Because it's, it's very rare that one parent is just the complete he's that's the wrong person right they're doing everything wrong there's usually another side to that story mm -hmm. the cases that where it is one side they're usually very evident there's a drug use issue there's there's abuse going on in the family yeah so those types of things but you find out about those rather quickly right it's the, the ones that are difficult are the normal ones where it's like well these seem like relatively good people um what are we supposed to do here and it, I, I give the judges a lot of credit because it's not the easiest thing to decide in the course of six hours for a final hearing. And then, you know, I love to talk about how social media affects these situations, right? Mm -hmm. So when you when you look at the opportunity to, you know, get a little outlandish on it on uh, Instagram or Facebook, you know, what's you know, you, you see that come up a lot, I'm assuming. Well, think about anything you think about a conversation you're having with your friends after a football game. Right. And then take it out of that context and then put it in the courthouse. Right. Where it's going to be very formal as a person with a black robe who's, who's looking down at you trying to make decisions. Mm -hmm. So if you go on full blast on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all of those different outlets, they're going to be taken out of context potentially. Or that is the context. You got mad one day. Maybe you had one too many beers before you decided to open up your application on your phone. And now all of a sudden, they're looking at that's the real you. Right. Not necessarily the caricature caricature of you that you actually thought that you were putting out there. Sometimes jokes can get people in trouble. And yeah. that's hard for me to say because I do it all the time. I even do it yeah. in the context of my job. But that's a fine line. So you have yeah. to be careful. I don't want you to stop being yourself but you really got to be careful of what's out there. Yeah. I mean, we see celebrities do it all the time. Yep. That same thing that's happening to them, it's almost the same level of scrutiny. It's just not as many people found out about it. Right. But in your little world, everybody knows about it. That's right. Yeah, when you go into the, the courtroom, it's going to have real ramifications. There's going to be some real price to pay if, if something comes out that you might not have meant a certain way, but the opposing counsel can kind of make it seem that way. We'll, we'll talk more about that as we go here on the show. Attorney Joe Kearns, managing partner, Kearns Law Firm here uh, in studio. And uh, coming up as well, we're going to talk with John Gass, and he's the owner of WeBeam TV. Talk about his TV platform and uh, some of the cool video production that he does as well. And we're going to bring Anthony Puglisi on air as well. 
Powell, executive show producer, going to be coming up. And uh, some of our live events, different things happening uh, here in the marketplace. We're going to talk about that. And we're going to have a big shout out to the Maids Cleaning Service. They do a great job cleaning our real estate properties. 24-hour, 100% satisfaction guaranteed by the Maids Cleaning Service. They are referred for a reason. And uh, when we come back as well, we're going to talk about Little Girl Honored for using her birthday to help the hungry in our Feel Good segment of the week and the Tell Me Something Good segment that we have here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our hotline number is 813-670-7372. We would love to hear from you at 813-670-7372. Hey everybody, I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rimes and you're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here at the Quarterback Show published author and a professional speaker we'd love for you to check out our book on amazon become the mvp in your industry by surfing the radio waves helping you understand more about how to start your own uh, radio and tv show and if you don't want to go into broadcast you could simply do a podcast which is very popular now kind of a new form of um, blogging uh, which was a a big trend uh, in in the 2000 era there early 2000s and giving a shout out to brio tuscan grill at the international plaza in tampa uh, 2223 north west shore boulevard in tampa brio tuscan grill is located off bay street next to the renaissance tampa hotel international plaza at brio tuscan grill in tampa international mall you will discover italian menu drinks and a cozy atmosphere and excellent service and uh, we love going over to brio and enjoying a nice meal uh, with our team as well and we're back here in studio helping you win in any marketplace 
Uh, we've got attorney Joe Kearns in the house. We've got uh, Anthony Puglisi just joined us as well, executive show producer, as well as John Gaston, who's the owner of WeBeam TV. And I want to let you know about a couple of price reductions here on, on Platinum MVP, a couple of our hot listings. 701 East Crenshaw Street in Tampa, $254,000 for this completely remodeled and uh, renovated home at 701 East Crenshaw Street in Tampa, three-bedroom, two-bath property in Seminole. 2,358 square feet pool home with the fenced-in backyard, as well as a beautiful property in Pinellas County and Seminole at 7657 132nd Way in Seminole. Whispering Forest is the subdivision here. Three bedrooms, uh, four bedroom, three bath. $399,000 just reduced as well. 2,400 square foot heated pool home and a fenced-in backyard here in beautiful Tampa Bay, uh, one of the best places in the United States. All right, all right. So uh, in, in segments one and two, we heard from Joe Kearns, attorney Joe Kearns, coming up as well. We're going to talk to him more in our lightning round. And we've got the top five best-selling books in history uh, coming up as well. And uh, let's go ahead and talk with uh, John Gasson and Anthony, kind of open it up uh, to both you guys here. So um, Anthony's a show producer on the show here, and, and we've got John Gasson, who's also uh, a longtime friend of the program, partner helping us stream our television show. I guess let me go to John first here. Uh, John, so whenever I'm explaining, Explaining the program to people, I say, hey, listen, we've got this TV show. It's on WeBeam TV. Ex can you explain exactly the difference between streaming and, and you know, some of these di different ways that we will describe this this product that you offer? Sure. Uh, streaming has been generified. Yeah. Um, everybody, because Netflix streams and Hulu streams, it's really not streaming. What it is, it's there's our park videos that are produced. Um, what we do is actual stream. Which, so when someone says they're streaming, mm -hmm. that means that's actually a live content at that very point in moment. That okay. makes sense? Right. Yeah. So what we do is we stream. There's only a few of our shows that are actually um, shot, recorded, and streamed as if live. Put in the can kind of that's speak, right. right? Exactly. Yeah. So most most of the content you watch on WeBeam TV is actually streaming video. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And, and I love the aspect as well where a business owner can leverage his time, can leverage his uh, database, his social followings, his email database uh, in a way that we're doing with the quarterback show and we've been doing for the last four years now. And let's, let's talk a little bit about that, John. You know, the way that we can utilize WeBeam TV and, and uh, you know, some of the platforms that we have here to grow our sphere of influence grow our uh, existing database and, and our existing contacts, but also fortify existing relationships as well. Well, yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest thing is, is getting our content out there. So you want to make yourself the expert in that field. Right. So by having the platform as in WeBeam TV or your social media, which would be your YouTube, your uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that. So once once you get your information out there and you do it regularly, if you, if you just do something once in a while, that becomes a problem because then people under, are going to think, well, they're not really in it. They're just kind of throwing stuff up there just to throw stuff up there just to have stuff. Right. Um, so consistency is a very big deal, but using these platforms actually makes you the expert in your field. And then people will start seeking you out. And once they seek you out, they will say, Hey, you know, like, Hey, this Joe guy really knows what he's talking about when it comes to family law. You need to go listen to his podcast. I really appreciate that. You That's right. <laughs> um, so, but, you know, I try. I'll well, I mean, if you guys are very nice. You do different platforms, too. It's not just the Weeby and TV. It's the, it's the YouTube streaming. It's the Facebook live streaming. Yeah. There's so many different ways to reach out media-wise, and that's a lot of the education that people need to know about. So it's not just black and white. Right. We, we um yeah, we, we make sure that... um. When you stream through us, our guarantee stream is our stream. And we'll throw secondary streams as in YouTube, Facebook, uh, Periscope or Twitter, whatever. Right. Um, because those are the those are the platforms we can stream to. We can't stream to Instagram at this point in time because it takes a back end side from those guys. It's coming. Um, but yeah, we, we we always guarantee ours. The problem with the Facebook and the YouTubes is it's free. Everybody's on it, so sometimes you may get on, sometimes you may not. Right. What do you mean by that? Does it as far as the bandwidth? Yeah. Uh, okay. See, we're all server based, mm -hmm. so we stream to a CDN. 
that that guarantees us flow. Okay. Okay. Facebook, YouTube, Ustream, Livestream, Justin, all these all these platforms that are free. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're just using the free service, well, the problem with that is is everybody's using it. Right. And I'll give you the perfect example. Sunday mornings. Yep. Every church out there wants to be streaming. Okay, not every church has the budget to pay for a guaranteed CDN stream. Mm. So what they'll do is they'll use Ustream, Livestream, YouTube, Facebook. And on Sunday mornings is the worst time to try to do your streaming because now makes sense, yeah. everybody's on it. Yeah, makes so a lot of sense. So next thing you know, you're getting lag or you're getting bad video or or there's or you have a video that's completely out of sync, which your video's there, but it looks like an old Chinese movie where it's you know, ah, five exactly. seconds behind. Sure. Well, that's just due because of volume. Yeah, I you can know, see that happening. Even I mean, the biggest, even the biggest servers are going to have this kind of problem. Even with the way technology is involved, that that happens in a lot of different things. Even something as simple as your Wi-Fi connection. If it's just you using your Wi-Fi connection and you have the the lowest plan you can get from whatever company you get it from, usually works out okay. Mm-hmm. But if you have six people over your house on the Wi-Fi, everything's going to be slowed down. That's correct. And it's the yeah. same premise there. Same premise. Yeah, yeah. And we just, so we've, that's why I say that. And I preface every time I talk to a potential client, we will, we will give you the guarantee that will never go down. Right. It's the secondaries we cannot guarantee. Right. We try and we love to do it because, you know, the Facebook and the YouTubes, if actually with us streaming to YouTube kind of takes a little bit um, extra work for us because YouTube will record. Facebook sometimes records, but then there's issues and then it's not there anymore. So you can't rely on that. Right. Yeah. So the the big point is if you're a business owner out there and you're thinking, man, how do I drive more leads? How do I get more business? The the big idea is to utilize the content in many ways. So come in and, and create content uh, on the on the quarterback show, for example, or John has other uh, shows that, that we're going to talk about as well coming up. But the, the big idea is to, you know, for example, with real estate, you hear me talking about my listings on the show. You hear the way that we promote our business partners as well, uh, whether it's a, a live host endorsement, 30 second commercials or the actual interview process. But then I'm going to let Anthony talk about this more. You know, what's what what's that next step? What do we encourage our folks to do? Right. And you touched on that actually really well. You yeah. know, there's the radio show, which is the, you know. The glamour part of it, I guess you could call Broadcast. it. But there is, you know, we use WeBeam TV to do the, te- you know, the video side of it. We also have it on YouTube and we do it on uh, iTunes. And there's so many different channels to be able to get the word out there to, for, you know, it's just different avenues that businesses can use to help grow their sphere of influence, as you say all the time. That's right. And it's a really great way to do it. But it does also, you have to do your part as well, sharing posts letting people know, get the word out there. You know, we put the post up there. As long as you share it out, other people are going to see it. Yep. It's going to be people who you've maybe close to be working with. It's going to be people who you haven't, who have no idea who you are. Yep. Maybe they see, oh, well, you know, I do need help with family law. Let me yep. check out the show. Oh, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Let me give him a call. Yep. Things like that. So, you know, you put that on your website, you put that on your social media and you're going to get more hits outside of just the actual people hearing it on the radio as well. That's right. We, and we've and be- iTunes as well. We're on iTunes podcast. You know, we upload everything through Libsyn. So it's iTunes, it's YouTube. It's a combination of all that social media, yeah. John. We, we've become a, a, a viewing society. Yep. For a long time, we were a reading society. That's right. And, we, and, and when you said, well, this is where this is, the first thing to do is that you pull an encyclopedia or a dictionary and you would fact check. Oh, that. I hate That's it. right. Like, and yeah. then the next thing you know, yeah. it's like, Okay, well, this happened. Really? Next thing you know, we're going to Google. Oh, and then man. we're doing a little bit more reading. Now it's like, I'm going to go find a video. And I'm going to find an expert. And this is what they said. Man, you know what's interesting is I was just listening to, uh, gosh, I can't remember exactly where I saw it, but he was talking about, oh, I think it was like C-SPAN or one of those channels that are kind of kind of like nerdy you know, <laughs> shows, some would say. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm listening to that. And then they were talking about, you know, where are the trends going? Where is this this artificial intelligence going? And Stephen Hawking was even quoted uh, by saying, like, you know, this could be the potential end of mankind. You know, going down a little bit of a bunny trail, but you look at where we've gone. We've come from encyclopedias, and then people would like to read blogs. Now they just want a video hand-fed to them and says, hey, here's the video. Well, I mean, look at the uh, pyramids in ancient Egypt. They're They're doing a lot of talk about that right now, saying that they had advanced technology back then. 
and obviously it was lost somewhere along the way. So I'm not trying to get into conspiracy theories or anything. But, <laughs> Come on, Anthony. You know, that's, it could a, be, that's a little it's, bit. It could be recycled through time. Yeah. Can someone in the back get us some uh, Reynolds wrap? We need to make a hat for Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your triangle hat. Uh, yeah, so so a little bit of a bunny trail there for you. But, uh, yeah, Brandon Rimes here, quarterback show. Show's heating up. We're having some fun. John Gaston's in the house. Anthony Puglisi and Joe Kearns also. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about the trends in, in technology, the trends in video, what's happening out there. And we've got an interesting story as well. A little girl honored for using her birthday to help the hungry. So this and more from our expert contributors coming up. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rimes here, giving a shout out to Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora in beautiful St. Pete Beach. It's the first new hotel built on St. Pete Beach in decades. Spanish ancestry meets cool Mediterranean attitude. It's a whitewashed Mediterranean palace, expansive luxury suites with balconies overlooking the intercoastal waterway. They've got rooftop yoga on the weekends, and the Castile restaurant will serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Go say hello to the team over at Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora in St. Pete Beach, and let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you. Give them the REQ code and you're going to get 10 to 20 percent off of your staycation uh, at the kiptons the hotel zamora st pete beach also giving a shout out to felicia lacaye with healthy gourmet felicia lacaye all organic veggies natural proteins delivered fresh three times a week meal plan starting at 90 dollars 
Optimal Fuel, Optimal Performance, Healthy Gourmet, longtime friend of the program, Felicia Lacaye is the CEO and founder and Organic Veggies and Natural Proteins Food Delivery Program service right to your home or office. And I love it when Monday, Wednesday, Friday roll around. I've got my new order there and I'm be able to, to eat healthy. Uh, what else do you have in this world if you do not have your health? And uh, we're back here in studio and uh, in studio with me today, Joe Kearns. He's an attorney. He's a family law divorce attorney here in Tampa Bay, Kearns Law Firm. Um, Anthony Puglisi is the executive show producer, as well as John Gaston, owner of We Beam TV. And we want to make sure you save our hotline number in your phone. It's 813 670 7372. 670 Right, so You're not gonna call me back, call me out live. I didn't do it on that one. <laughs> I said I was gonna say it's. I've already done it twice. So I was kind of waiting for it. All right, yeah. I was waiting for it when yeah. I was in here too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, so yeah. So we've got some good stuff talking about here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into our lightning round. Let's talk about some top tips, things to do, things to avoid, ways to help consumers uh, in today's. Uh, you know, climate, you know, we talk a lot about how it's a busy climate. There's social media uh, out there to contend with. There's a lot of things, uh, changes happening. But um, let's start Let's start with you, Joe. What's what's some top tips, things to do, things to avoid in your space? There's a new law that's, that's going to go into effect in January um, where the Department of Revenue, who would typically only handle the child support, and they were actually, they weren't allowed to do the, the actual time-sharing portion of it. They're going to be authorized to be doing those types of things. There's going to be kind of a a form parenting plan that can be um, involved. Um, most of the family law bar has a problem with cookie cutters. So it'd be important that if you're going to go into some sort of um, child support arena, you may want to talk to an attorney because it may turn into a child. Well, we, we said we don't use the word custody, but time sharing plan. Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So that's new legislation coming up. Mm -hmm. It's already passed. It's already so passed. Yeah. Okay. Top tips, things to do, Anthony. Well, use your resources. Uh, simple as that, you know, like we have on top of everything else we do that we were talking about earlier, yep. we do do a uh, gratitude parties, we call them, which That's essentially right. is a great networking meeting. That's right. Okay? And we have another one coming up on uh, Wednesday, July the 19th. It's going to be from 5 to 8 p.m. It's going to be over at Cox Media, where we do uh, broadcast our shows once a week through yep. them. Yep. Okay. And it's a great way to, if you're on the fence, you know, we need... Certain categories, immigration law, criminal defense, auto sales, plumbing, many more, you know what I mean, that yep. we want to make people an expert contributor in. And if you're hearing this and kind of on the fence about it, coming to this party is a great way to find out if this is for you. You'll get to meet some of the people who are currently partners on the show. That's You'll right. get to hear what they're all about. We'll throw in some entertainment. Hey, we'll even feed you for free. That's right. We got food and drinks, beer and wine uh, over there as well. Wednesday, July 9th. Uh, come on out and join us. We'd love to hear from you. ConsumerQB.com. Just submit the email at ConsumerQB.com. And uh, yeah, definitely would love to see you out there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it's at Cox Media Building, uh, 11300 4th Street, North in St. Pete. It's the first exit if you're coming from Tampa, right over the Howard Franklin Bridge, uh, suite number 300, which means it is on the third floor. After a certain time, the elevator stops running to the third floor, so you do need to get on the list to be able to attend this. That's very right. easy to do. Go to ConsumerQB.com, go to the Contact Us, tell us you want to be there, and uh, we'll put you on the list, and we'll make sure you get in the building. That's right. Yeah, live event, a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes you have some of the personalities walking through over there, get to meet some of the folks over there that you see. And uh, we'll have a gratitude party, food and drinks provided by uh, catering by the family. Juan Conchero catering by the family does a great job bringing in awesome food uh, for us as well. Uh, we'll bring in beer and wine. We got some uh, some entertainment lined up as well. I think we're going to have Matt uh, Ma Maestro, the Maestro, the memory, Ooh, the the memory expert. He does yeah. a pretty cool thing. I got to reach out to Matt and ask him about that. Uh, last the last gratitude party we had Corey uh, Van Valen did a great job on some magic. Uh, so all right, let's continue this uh, lightning round here. Top tips, things to do, things to avoid. John Gaston, WeBeam TV. I'm going to talk about the hottest thing going right now, and that's podcasting. Yeah. So if you want to have a podcast, call us. We will help you get it set up. We will actually, if you don't know anything about technical side of it, we'll take care of that too. We'll just bring into the studio, or we can actually come to you and do a weekly podcast right out of your own facility, your own home. But we'd prefer to get into the studio so that way it's a little more controlled. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That's And that's the way a lot of business owners are going, real estate investors. And, and the saying is that there's riches in the niches. So if you have a niche, if you 
have some type of specialized knowledge out there and you're great at something and it's something that you're passionate about, you really want to look at this and take John Gaston, uh, owner of WeBeam TV, up on his offer. He's talking about a way that you can really significantly grow your client base, grow your sphere of influence, and uh, it's very easy to do. It's not very hard. I know sometimes uh, when we're setting these new goals or we're thinking, oh, wow, I want to do this, I want to do uh, some new venture, we sometimes let ourselves get paralyzed by paralysis by analysis but but really when you look at a podcast it's it's very simple to do and uh, I, I would urge you to reach out as well consumerqb.com just submit the form there at consumerqb.com all right so we've got our tell me something good segment here tell me something good. Go ahead, Greg. a nine-year-old orlando girl recently gave up her birthday to feed hungry children and families in need however instead of having a birthday party she decided to invite her friends and family to volunteer on June 12th to do her part to create a hunger-free world. I wanted to feed the children. I've been there once with my church, and it was really fun for me. I loved it, Layla Shuck explained. Layla was one of the two dozen outstanding volunteers that were honored by feeding children everywhere. At the organization's inaugural Hunger Hero Awards in Orlando Friday night, it's about more than food. It's about addressing, addressing the root causes of hunger said Dave Green, the CEO of Feeding Children Everywhere. It's food plus education, or it's food plus women's health, food plus orphan care, or e economic development. We see food as a vehicle that starts a broader conversation, Green continued. And once the basic needs of, are taken care of, the academic success comes, said Cheryl John. That's a great story, Braylon. I like that. So the girl in... Uh, she honored, she gave up her birthday party to feed the children and families in need. The story goes on to say that about 15 of those meals will be given to hungry children and families in the United States. And uh, so great story. That's our feel good story of the week. And uh, excellent job, Braylon. Good job. Did great. All right. So let's do one more round here. Quick tips, things to do, things to avoid. Attorney Joe Kearns. As always, I try to leave the show with, um, and, and, and Brandon does love talking about the social media, <laughs> but it, it's kind of a, a, a think before you shoot type of situation. Yeah. Just relax, calm down, then you can pick up your device. Uh, I say that it's going to be very difficult to do. Um, when you do it, because you will, um, give me a call. I'll try to <laughs> see if we can't steer that boat back into its port. Yeah, good, good stuff. Anthony, I want to touch on the podcasting thing you were talking about. It yeah. is easy to get a podcast started. I mean, re realistically, you can do it with a computer and a microphone, mm -hmm. but it's a matter of where you actually want to take that podcast. Hiring somebody like John to help you out with that side of it is going to take it to the next level. That's right. Like I said, anybody can have a microphone plugged into a computer, but it's not going to sound the same or be the same or even get the same reach out to people as if you use a professional to help you along in that process. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's about putting it together properly the right way, having the right graphics in place, and uh, video production as well is something that John and his team excel at as well. John? I'm just going to touch on just hire a professional, mm -hmm. whether it's us or anybody else, just hire a professional because, you know, the first time someone sees you should be the best. That's right. Not, well, I'm kind of working on it and it's getting there. Yep. Because then, you know, people are like, well, you're not there then. That's right. Yep. Why should I hire you? Right. That's what, yep. that's what they'll say. So yeah, put your best foot for, uh, forward there. When you look at that situation, also want to give a shout out to Michael Lysenko. He's our safe money coach with the consumer quarterback show. Um, he's helping people understand how to navigate this market. There's a lot of concerns, uh, with geopolitical things happening out there. Michael Lysenko, he's a fiduciary and he's a safe money coach and he is a longtime friend of the quarterback show here. So if you're looking at investment opportunities, you're looking at maybe a potential review, uh, I would urge you to reach out to to our team and let us put you in touch with Michael Lysenko, Premier Money Solutions, and he's a safe money coach. He's going to help you understand and navigate these waters uh, because it is a uh, we're entering uncharted territories when it comes to the way that the market's been moving and things that are happening out there. So I want to thank all of our expert contributors for coming in. I want to thank the folks behind the scenes helping make the show happen. Now, all of our listeners, viewers out there, thank you so much for listening. And please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Something as simple as packing up leftover food you may have, handing it to that person that you see in need and be a force for good in the community uh, volunteer donate time or money and even some leftover clothing that you may have uh, be a force for good out there and, and uh, continue to tune into the quarterback show we'd love to engage with you on facebook.com forward slash consumer qb show
show, and we'll see you next time. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at consumerqb.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. 